Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing ricotta gnocchi with asparagus spears. Light, pillowy, delicious, cheesy goodness. That's probably the best way to describe it. Let's get started, guys. First, we're going to take our asparagus and we're going to cut it on the bias, which is going to give us a nicer presentation. And we're just looking for the tips right now. We're not worried about the rest of it. You can save that for another evening dish. Um, so we're cutting at a, about a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to blanch them. So we're going to cook them so they get tender to the bite and then we're going to shock them and the shocking is going to set the color it's going to make sure that they stay nice and bright green which is great we eat with our eyes so how long do they cook for it's about two three minutes we're not really trying to cook them a lot we do want some texture because our gnocchi is light and fluffy so this is our nice balance of textures here so it's pretty cool how the ice shocks it and just makes the beautiful color stay pretty cool so you guys can use whatever cheese you like. I suggest hard cheese. Um, Parmesan's wonderful or uh, Gran Padamo. There's a lot of great cheeses nowadays, particularly hard ones. We're going to keep a little bit of it for garnish just to reinforce the beautiful cheesiness. It's about a cup and a fourth right about there. I'll have a printable recipe card for you on the website so the whole process will be easy and totally lined out and explained. We're going to go with one full egg and we're going to use one additional yolk. This is going to be our binding agent that's going to help hold everything together. And you don't have to use a food processor, it just makes it easier. You can certainly mix this by hand, no problem. Delicious ricotta, notice I've got it in a strainer there. If you set it on a strainer with the bowl underneath it overnight, extra water will come out and this dish works out a lot better. You'll have a much, the, the, the little gnocchis will have a firmer texture to them because there'll be less water in them. So that's two thirds of a teaspoon of salt. Flour, you can go between a half a cup and a third of a three fourths of a cup. It's up to you. Um, you really take a look at the actual dough and see if it looks too wet. If it looks too wet, that's when you add a little bit of extra flour to it. And you can always just cook one off and test it out and see if it is the texture that you want. So there we go, a little bit of flour. It's just gonna help it not stick. And then how we shape them, which is gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna use a spoon. And we're just gonna smoosh it against the side of the wall of whatever bowl you've got it in. And boom, then use your finger and push it off and it's gonna make a nice little pillow for you. So this makes a really nice date dinner too, just because it's different. Who doesn't love cheese? And not many people, you don't get gnocchi all the time. And it's really actually really easy to make. I think the word kind of probably scares people. So that's why it's really a dumpling. Uh, gnocchi is just a fancy word for dumpling. So we're going to get these all shaped up, make as little or as much as you want. The, if you have extra, put it in the freezer, totally stays nicely. All right, refrigerator, we firmed them up a little bit. That's what they're doing over there. And we definitely want to put some salt in our water. This is your one extra chance to flavor our gnocchi. And we're going to get these guys into the pool. And what we're looking for is for them to float. They're gonna get close to doubling in size. And boom, there we go. You wanna be really gentle pulling them out because these are little pillows. They're delicate, they want to fall apart-ish. Not really, but um, just wanna be gentle. Every good dish has a nice sauce, usually. So that's chicken stock. I've got a recipe on the website to make fantastic homemade chicken stock. I will make sure that that is in the article and in the link below. And we're going to reduce it. Reducing it intensifies flavor. You have to be careful with salt too. That's why you want to put your salt in sauces at the end because as you reduce things, the saltiness will get stronger. So that's a big mistake with reducing stuff. So it's best to not salt your chicken stock. You can a little bit in the beginning just to get everything going, but chicken stock is better done, you know, bland. Don't put any salt in it so you can control it later. All right, we're going to get everybody together get the flavors going nicely. You don't have to add the asparagus in there like that. You can just place them on the plate to make them look extra pretty and nice. Oh, I wish I had some of this right now. It was so good. One of the secret ingredients is that little bit of nutmeg I, 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 I've shaved into there. It's just a great dish, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please come join us on social media. We'd love to have you. And you guys have a great one. Take care.